The Los Angeles Chargers just fired Anthony Lynn, and now six NFL teams are now in the market for a new head coach. And I think the Chargers job is attractive just because they have Justin Herbert, who had the best rookie season we've ever seen from a quarterback. You know, a lot of people are talking about the Jacksonville Jaguars situation because they have the number one overall pick and $70 million in cap space. But, you know, the Chargers have Justin Herbert, who's already proven that he can make the jump to the NFL. You know, some guys struggle to make that transition, so that's worth a lot. And, you know, with the Chargers, you know, things didn't work out with Anthony Lynn. He never fulfilled his potential, and guys didn't really take to his personality. But I think the Chargers might have the answer for their next head coach already on their coaching staff. You know, I watched Pep Hamilton coach in the XFL. And some people will say that's not a, a fair evaluation of him because the XFL is watered down and the talent isn't good enough. But the things that made Pep Hamilton successful in the XFL will also work in the NFL. You know, he connects with his players. He builds them up with positive reinforcement so they're more confident. And, you know, his, his message resonated. Those things, you know, stand out from a coaching standpoint because they're so rare. And you could tell that Pep Hamilton was going to be special someday. He's going to be a better coach than Anthony Lynn was. I promise you that. You know, Pep Hamilton is an offensive mastermind. He knows how to call uh, a game. And he knows how to develop an offensive game plan, which is so rare these days. Uh, if, like, you know, for example, Frank Reich won a Super Bowl with the Eagles and then went to the Indianapolis Colts, took them to the playoffs this year. And the Eagles uh, haven't been the same team since. We've actually found out that Doug Peterson can't call offensive plays. And the guy that is now missing from that equation, Frank Reich, is also having success in Indianapolis because he knows how to get everyone involved and make that offense more efficient. Well, Pep Hamilton is the same way. And he just, you know, worked night and day to refine Justin Herbert and turn him into the Offensive Rookie of the Year. Herbert's going to win that award. And, you know, Pep Hamilton is a guy that was really just, you know, making sure that Justin Herbert was comfortable, making sure that he believed in his abilities, uh, all the same things that he was doing with, uh, you know, Cardell Jones in the DC DC Defenders in the XFL. So those things are going to, you know, withstand the test of time. If you can get your guys uh, to believe they're the best player on the field and to have that confidence that's just on another level, your team is going to play better. That's just the way it goes because if you can have success on an individual level where all of your guys are – uh, playing at a higher level, then obviously that's better for the team overall. Pep Hamilton can do that. He probably hasn't gotten a single phone call yet, but Pep Hamilton's one of the best coaches you've never heard of. I'm John Kuzma. Check out endzoneblog.com.